This is Glenn Danzig, and you're watching Loudwire. Hey, everybody. Guru Hamid here from Loudwire with Mr. Glenn Danzig. Thank you so much for taking some time today to talk oh, to me. My pleasure. Celebrating the Skeletons uh, compilation, uh, the covers album. Uh -huh. Long time coming. A lot of fans have been anticipating this for a long time. You've been talking about it for a while. I'm curious about how do you approach uh, something like this where you're covering such legendary mu musicians, uh, combining their influence with your own influence? Uh, first off, I just, uh, I, there's lots of songs, of course, you want to cover, but my attitude with covers is you got to bring a new element sure. or a new dimension to it and kind of make it your own. And so that's when I started weeding through songs I thought I might want to do, and if I had a good idea on a good direction to take it, you know, like a different direction than, say, maybe mm -hmm. the artist, the original artist did. And, uh, and that's how I weeded it down into the selections that you see on the record. Uh, it's like a balancing act. Uh, it is, but, yeah. You know, but I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. And uh, so far, we're talking to different journalists or people I've played it to. They seem to dig it. So I'm happy. Good. And uh, this has been a project, you know, as I said, that's been talked about for a long time. Uh, is it something that was maybe on the back burner for a while, just sort of an idea that was stewing and, until you really found the right way to do it? Well, it's, it's uh, half of that. I've been Have wanting to do a that. covers okay. record since 1979. For a long so, time, yeah. yeah. Actually, mm -hmm. the, the arrangement for Devil's Angels is one I, I did back in 79. Wow, uh, wow, so, okay. And I've been waiting to cover it since then. So, uh, and then other stuff, uh, in a way, I'm glad it took a long time to get it done. Um, sure. And find the time to do it because otherwise there wouldn't be some of the songs that are on there now. When it comes to this catalog of songs, were there any tracks that felt at all a bit intimidating to cover? Um, no. No, that's it. <laughs> no, I just do them, you know. Yeah. And usually I have an idea in my head and I show it to the guys and um, we bang it out, you know. Cool. And usually uh, I, weed it, I weed it out before I give it to everybody to record uh, oh, okay. so that it's not, you know, a clunker. <laughs> gotcha, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, one of the songs that's on there, I think one of the standouts is NI, NIB by NIB, Black Sabbath. Yeah, I mean, yeah. a, obviously a classic metal staple for a long time. Uh, yeah. When it comes to Black Sabbath's discography, what is it about that song that made you want to record it? Uh, the first record is just a groundbreaking record. Uh, and um, I'll say, like, live, I always tell everybody, you can't have a Danzig covers record without Elvis Presley, but you also can't have one without Black Sabbath. Sabbath so, sure. Uh, two very influential uh, artists, you know, at least for me growing up. So uh, we do NIB live every night, and mm -hmm. I let people sing along to the chorus. So it's, yeah. it's, it's a much different than a Black Sabbath concert. Yeah. yeah. Well, sure. Oh man, yeah, a punk rock concert with Black yeah. Sabbath. That's it's pretty, pretty cool. much. It's kind of like that. Yeah. That, That's that a cool concert. energy. Yeah. Another one I really wanted to talk about was Crying in the Rain by the Everly Brothers because yeah, I, love the Everly Brothers. I really love them too. Really, like one of the best groups ever to combine like two voices and to really make it one single entity. You know, There's so much beauty in those harmonies. Um, and your approach was to take it pretty much straight yourself most of the time. It's I, I stripped it down. I wanted it to be very like, not. I want it to be very sparse and haunting and kind yeah. of creepy and still have the melody you know, for the vocals. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. I put a big vegas -y Elvis chorus in for the chorus. There's some background stuff yeah. going on there. But yeah. I also added a couple little Gregorian chants in, in beneath, underneath. So That's that true. It made it a little darker. It made and, it creepy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, uh, you know, you mentioned the, uh, the legacy stuff. Yeah. which obviously fans are go crazy about. You know, when it comes to integrating old Danzig stuff, when it comes to integrating uh, Misfits stuff, and then, you know, uh, surprises for fans, like uh, inviting Doyle to guest, uh -huh. stuff like that, when, or how do you decide when the right time is for something like that? Because there's always demand for it. Um, well, the thing with Doyle, we did on the 25th anniversary, and I just said, you know what, the hell, you know, man. Doyle was around. I said, you want to come out for a set with us on the 25th Danzig anniversary? And he said, yeah. Um, and we had just done the Legacy. Uh, you know, I think we did about five or six Legacy shows. Uh, mm -hmm. 
not counting Bonnaroo, so, um, yeah, it just fell into place, and, you know, worked out. Okay, just for an anniversary, yeah. something like, can we... Similar with the Santa Hang thing, we just, yeah. you know, we got invited to do Riot Fest, mm, and right. uh, the Ten Essential albums, and we were rehearsing for that anyway, and I was like, well, why don't we, we were rehearsing anyway, why not do an L.A. and a San Francisco show? And then uh, some East Coast promoters found out and said, well, you can't ignore New York and Philadelphia, and you know, like, and, but we had to cut it off there. Yeah. So we did some East Coast, we did some West Coast, and of course we did Riot Fest, and then that was it. It was just, you know, it was nice. Awesome. Well, thank you for sitting down with me, oh, giving me some pleasure, of your time. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Danzig, buy the Skeletons album. Definitely do it. Glenn Danzig, everybody. Thanks.